Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is a budget with me uh, video and also my budget breakdown for my paycheck of March. So I have already prepared uh, my categories and also I am a cash stuffer. Income is per month is 29,100. This is my salary that I bring home. And out of that, I always make sure that I take out 10% of my um, salary. I put it into savings. So that means 10% is 2,910 rupees. Also, I have opened a PPF account and I my PPF gets 5% of my uh, income. So that is 1,460 rupees. I also have an LIC account. LIC uh, which actually I pay every six months but every six months taking out a lump sum amount to pay the LIC premium uh, was very I found it not very practical because because it's a very big amount it's about 15,000 in six months so the total amount of LIC that I have to pay in six months I divided by six and every month I set aside no, 2,460 rupees because my income is not very much I found this process to be very helpful because every month I'm setting aside only 2,460 rupees which doesn't feel like a very big amount so but accumulating this for six months you know I have a certain amount I think around 1,400 14,000 something and and the end of six months I pay the premium and then next month I start putting aside 2,460 rupees again every month for my next premium payment. So I have a debt, if you, have, if, if you haven't seen my previous video, I have a debt of around 16,400 rupees. So right now I'm focusing on paying this off. So from my salary, I set aside 2,000 every month to pay off this debt. I just want to get over with it. My salary doesn't have a set date of coming. Sometimes it comes in the first week of the month. Sometimes it comes in the last week of the month. So these four categories are categories that I have that I have to have with me in the first week of the month. So instead of um, being so, if I don't have these amounts ready in the first week of the month, I get panicked <laughs> and I get anxious. So instead of depending on whatever payment I'm going to get in the next month instead of going through that headache I have I what I do is every month from my salary I take out uh, 13,030 rupees and keep it aside I don't touch it I take them out in the first week of the next month this is March so from my March salary I take out this amount and I keep it aside so in the first week of April I pay all the bills with that amount so that amount that fund I had named it as month ahead so for the siblings fund I set aside 1000 every from my salary every month bike loan installment is 4530 rupees the rent amount is 4000 rupees and ration I set aside 3500 rupees so this becomes total becomes rupees 1030 rupees and this all four categories this is an amount of rupees 8830 so now um, my salary is 29,100 minus uh, 8,830 minus 13,030 rupees I have a remaining balance of 1,240 rupees so this is fixed this is my month ahead fund and these are my variable expenses variable expenses are those categories which doesn't have a set amount every month uh, I cannot say how much I'm going to spend in my household I cannot say how much I'm going to spend in my petrol and parking parking category so every month I set aside as much as I can after taking out the necessity categories so um, from the remaining 7,240 rupees, what I do every month is I set aside 500 rupees for subscriptions. Subscriptions are for my um, uh, net internet, for my phone data, 
my subscription is from my Tata Sky, subscription is also from my Netflix. So what I do is, I set aside 500 every month, I keep it in a bank account that has an internet facility, you know, like internet banking or mobile banking facility, so that whenever I need to recharge anything, it gets deducted from the savings account. For my salary, I always set aside 4,000 rupees for petrol and parking. So I have got my calculator here. So from the 7,240 rupees, I have put aside 4,000 rupees into my petrol and parking and I am also setting aside 500 into my subscriptions. So I am left with 2,740 rupees. So from this 2,740 rupees, I am setting aside 1,000 to my household expenses. Household expenses are my uh, everything that I buy groceries or you know even if I have to buy anything for the kitchen like toiletries, groceries, everything comes under my household category. So now I have 1740 rupees left. Out of that I'll be putting in 1000 into my personal category. 1000. So I'm left with 740. My personal um, category is for me, if I have to buy any cosmetics, my own personal, you know, expenses. So now I have 740 left. I will set aside 500 into my family category. 500. 500. So I'm left with only 240 rupees. So in my pet categories, I'll put 200 rupees. My pet categories, I have three dogs and two cats. So... My pet category caters to their dog food, pet food, or visiting the vet, or you know, even for their shampoos and for their soaps and for everything related to pets. So if I minus 200 out of this, I am left with 40 rupees. So this 40 rupees, I'll keep it in my buffer, which will remain in my, you know, um, checking account. So. If I set aside 40 into my buffer, I'm left with zero. So if you follow the zero-based budget method, where I where I uh, decide where my money goes and and I have zero amount left for me to budget anymore. <laughs> zero amount left doesn't mean I'm not left with any money. The thing is, I have you know given all my money direction to go where it has to go. So now. That means spending is not getting anything, self-care is not getting anything, giving is not getting anything, wardrobe is not getting anything, medical is also not getting anything, car maintenance, so she is also not getting anything, this paycheck. So now, after I have divided the categories, what I do is, the, all this, the ones that are marked with stars, these will remain in my bank account. So I have I don't take them out, they stay in my bank account. I, so what I do is because I follow the cash envelope system, I these are the categories where I have not marked stars. These are how these are the categories that I take out and I stuff in my envelopes and I use cash for these categories. So for now, um Categories that I need to stuff are 1000 for household, petrol and parking 1000 plus um, personal is 1000 plus family is 500 plus pets, pet gets 200 so that is equal to 6700 rupees. So I've already taken out the money and that stuff are envelopes. So I should have 6,700 here, that is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yes, I have 6,700 rupees here. Let me set this aside. For my household, I am putting 1,000 into my household, so 1,000 into my household, yes. I still have some money here, so if I put 1,000 here now, the amount that I have in my household is 1,050, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,090 rupees. 
in my household activity. So, petrol and parking is getting 4,000 rupees. So that is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. How much do I have here? So the reason I'm stuffing 4,000 here is because petrol and parking, I only stuff from my salary. I don't put any money into petrol and parking from my side income. That's why. So the amount that I have in petrol and parking is 1,000. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So I have 5,800 here. I have to fill my car. And the petrol prices are rising so much here. And spending is not getting anything. Self-care is not getting anything. Giving is also not getting anything. Personal is getting 1,000 rupees. 1,000. So, 1,000 is how much do I have left? 1,220, 40, 60. 1,260 rupees in personal. So, wardrobe is not getting anything. Medical is also not getting anything. Car maintenance is not getting anything. Family is getting 500 rupees. Family is getting 500 rupees. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 56. We have 560 rupees in family. And Annie is not getting anything this time, this paycheck. And pets are getting 200 rupees. I don't have any more money in my pet category because last month uh, there were some vaccinations that I had to give them. And this paycheck, I'm putting only 200 rupees. I don't think this is going to help. But it's alright. I have 220 rupees in pets. That is for today. I hope you liked the video. And... That is all for today. Thank you so much if you are still watching. Bye.